All right. Good morning, everyone. It's Mr. Nelson. We're back. It's May 1st. Happy May Day. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day, beautiful weekend. We're going to uh, have a little fun today with black holes, and uh, hopefully this won't take too much time. I uh, organized three activities for you today, and each activity might take 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes at the most. And um, so the whole day, 45 to 60 minutes, not too long. You might go back and rewatch some of these videos, spend, spend a little more time because black holes are fascinating, but they're also confusing. And there's a lot of uh, uh, misconceptions related to it, a lot of pseudoscience, a lot of uh, false um, narratives that you might hear reported about black holes as well. So you were studying sections 22.5 in the uh, textbook, and today you're going to look through uh, uh, black holes as described by Dennis Overby of the New York Times. This um, has short, three short videos. They're like two to three minutes. They're awesome. And these have been reported over the last five years since we got firsthand evidence of black holes. Um, some of this I've shared with you in class as we explored the general relativity, collision of black holes, gravitational waves from black holes. But now we're getting into just the properties themselves of the black holes, not their gravitational waves or the uh, general relativistic effects on space and time surrounding them. So enjoy these videos, take notes, and then um, list list your uh, questions and lessons that you've learned. Original ones. I want to see original thoughts. Some people are reporting uh, and just rewriting other people's ideas. Keep them original. That's what I'm most curious about. And you'll do the same for the next video. This is a uh, the second prompt is from Vsauce, and this is a really fun video. And I just ask you to watch the first six minutes. The video itself is like almost 11 minutes long. It's like 10 minutes and 45 seconds, but you can only watch the first six minutes. If you want to keep going, the last part of it is optional. It gets very um, abstract and interesting. It starts talking about what would happen if you fall into a black hole. It's fun. But my questions are really about those black hole properties in the first six minutes. And then post your response. And finally, I have a, um, a final activity, and this is my lecture with some calculations on the Schwarzschild radius. Um, make sure you watch the entire video and take notes and try the two problems at the end. I'll post your answers to those problems. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you'll need a calculator for that, but it's simple simple math. Uh, everything's provided, formulas, notes, with uh, constants and such. And enjoy your weekend, guys. Have a great day. I'll respond to your questions, your posts, whatever you have. Um, should be a beautiful weekend, beautiful rest of the week, and I'll see you next Wednesday. All the best.